Hi, I'm Marion Landry, Technical Marketing Manager for Autodesk. In this small tips and tricks, I want to show you how, with the help of the organizer, you can group a series of objects. When it's time to create a keyframe animation, you might sometimes have to group a series of objects and use the organizer to facilitate the animation. For example, I want to animate this door of the armoire, but obviously if I select only one object, only one object will move. Therefore, I will need to group a series of objects in order to animate the complete door. I will press O to open the organizer and browse through the object that I have selected. By pressing Ctrl on my keyboard, I will be able to add all the other objects to my selection and now I have the complete door. Looking at the organizer, I can see these selected objects. Right-clicking will allow me to group them. So now I can rename the group, which is really important in order to find this group easily in the organizer. I'm going to name it Armoire Door Left. So now I can easily identify it. And that is the parent object. So by selecting this parent object, I'm selecting the complete door. I can still select object by object, but to create the animation, I will select the parent, therefore the group. Now the transformation of this object is done on the uh, group pivot point, which is at the center of all these objects. I'm going to press insert to move the pivot point at the bottom of the door and at the point where the rotation will make sense. So pressing insert again will get me out of the move pivot point. Now if you look closer to this rotation of the door, you'll notice that I have forgotten to add the door handle to the group. There's no problem with that at all. Even though I have performed the pivot point move already, I'm still clear and I can still add extra object to the group and it will respect the pivot point. So I'm going to open the organizer. I'm going to select the door handle and from the organizer, so I have the door handle selected, I'm going to drag the specific object. So I'm going to select this specific object from the organizer and drag it underneath the group parent. And now the handle is part of the group. Now pressing B will open the behavior and I can create a keyframe animation with the door selected. It has created the first keyframe while pressing the blue ball on the Z rotation axis allow me to enter a precise minus 90 degree rotation. I can then add a keyframe and move it to two seconds and I can play these keyframes so you can see that I have a rotation of a door opening. Now I'm going to add a keyframe and move it for a second. So the door stays open for two seconds in my keyframe animation. And I'm going to add a, a 90 degree rotation again for, so the door gets closed and add a keyframe and move it to six seconds. So now I have a complete animation of a door opening, staying open for two seconds and closing for two seconds again. Using the playback button on the behavior menu, I can see the complete animation. So when it's time to do keyframe animation, you will often have to group a series of objects together, move the pivot point of this particular group in order to do the proper keyframe animation that you are after. 